squared. 
this an angle, it is also equal to the cosine of that angle. And when we say pi over 2, we're talking in radians, okay? So, sine of pi over 2 minus an angle x is equal to the cosine of that angle x. x, x, x. And likewise, if we have the cosine
cosine of u minus v minus the cosine of u plus v. So one half times this whole thing, the cosine of u minus v minus the cosine of u plus v. And that's our first one. Our second one, if we have a cosine of u times the cosine of v, the cosine of u times the cosine of v, cosine of u times the cosine of v, it is equal to one half times this whole thing again. The cosine of u minus v plus, 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 the cosine of u plus v, the cosine of u plus v, so one half times this whole thing, cosine of u minus v plus the cosine of u plus v, so there's a plus instead of a minus for the cosines. So the sine of u times the cosine of v is equal to one half times this whole thing. The sine of u plus v plus, 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 the sine of u minus v. So one half times the sine of u plus v plus the sine of u minus v. And if we have a cosine of u times the sine of v, it is one half times the whole thing of sine of u plus v minus the sine of u minus v. So the cosine of u times the sine of v is equal to one half times this whole thing of the sine of u plus v minus the sine of u minus v. And those are our, are our product to some formulas. And that is the last thing that we will be talking about, that we will be reciting, reciting today, 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 today. So today we went over the basic trigonometric functions, our reciprocal identities, our quotient identities, our Pythagorean identities, our co-function identities, our even and odd identities, and then we also went over a bunch of formulas, so our sum and difference, sum and difference formulas, our double angle, double angle formulas, our double angle formulas, our power reducing formulas, power reducing formulas, our sum to product formulas, our sum to product formulas, and our product to sum, product to sum, product to sum formulas. So, I hope that you enjoyed it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, or at least got some drowsiness or calmness out of this video. And this is how we are going to end it. And in case you are learning these functions right now, this might be a good thing to just play in the background just to remind yourself of what these identities and formulas are, and it will be helpful for you in the future. So, but for now, we're going to close it out.